хорошо совместил. Пиджачки, чувачочек, ну так. For Putin, the clear challenge that he's facing is the very direct concern about not having enough munitions for the battlefield. And with Kim, he has a partner who has the exact same, same type of stockpiles that he needs because of the unique Russia-North Korea relationship, and frankly, the Soviet-North Korea relationship. In the case of Kim, he's tried twice now with his space launch vehicle tests. They both failed at a critical last stage component. And so for their reference to what they need, a military satellite, this is something that there is a precedent. So in August of 2022, the Russians helped Iran put their Kayam satellite into orbit. But overall, the type of cooperation that they gave to each other is, is unique in international history. If you look at the North Korean nuclear weapons program right now, the original nuclear engineers were trained in Dubna near Moscow. So you see the type of Russian technical assistance and training. And for the older generation of North Korean leaders in the military, the you know, party side, different strata of society, they were educated in Russia. They speak Russian. And so this cultural affinity aspect of it is something that we do have to factor into our analysis as well. So there, there is this type of uh, mutual respect component that uh, they're tapping into as well right now. But I think that scorecard is important in terms of what each side gets out of this. And it's really for domestic consumption and bolstering their regimes at home. It looks very much prioritized for the time being on help with putting a military satellite into orbit for the North Koreans. They have made progress with their different ranges and different types of missile technology. But when it comes to a space launch vehicle and the transferable technological components to an ICBM, to an intercontinental ballistic missile as well, this is a priority for Kim right now. And if you look at it from that perspective, again, this is a situation where Russia is a unique problem a solution provider right now. And in, in that instance, Russia can provide that in a way where they have the precedent of how they helped Iran as well. So it's not to say sanctions don't work, is that in key instances when they do work, they're very powerful, triggering this unintentional response where the targets learn. They learn different ways to do things. And one of them is the whole uh, enterprise of stealing crypto and converting it to fiat cash. So if there's a scaling up of that activity in a partnership side of things, that clearly is, is uh, going to be a huge challenge for the international community. It looks like uh, they're very focused on their artillery shells, uh, the multiple rocket launchers for battlefield use. These are things that can be immediately applied in terms of this war attrition that is playing out in Ukraine. One of the things, though, to keep in mind is that it's not necessarily Russia lifting sanctions. It's just basically not implementing sanctions. And we've seen other countries do that as well. And Russia and China, as uh, P5 members, have essentially blocked efforts to introduce new resolutions in the UN Security Council for new sanctions as well. And so if you think of it, that that's really the primary focus right now, because there isn't really much left in the policy toolbox in terms of addressing the challenges specifically from Russia and North Korea. Having said that, one of the unique things here is that when you look at the type of cooperation that they have, this is a large landmass and it's directly connected. They don't have to go through third party countries. But if you look at it from that perspective of like operating system, these two countries have compatible operating systems because the North Korean one is based on the Soviet one, now the Russian one. So from that perspective, it's the immediate benefit of existing stockpiles and also the, the potential to crank up on the production side if they want to go that direction as well.